Jen. And I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe. On, on the, the go. go. So Jen, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? A little sad. A little wah, sad. Wah, wah. It's the last day of our cruise and we're heading back to San Diego and we're getting off the ship later today. Yes. <sighs> Good thing is that we have a little bit of extra time on the ship because we were delayed and we... We should have uh, been off the ship by now, but yeah. due to a medical emergency that happened on our second night of sea, third night at sea. Tuesday. It was Halloween on the yeah. 31st after we left Cabo. Yeah, so the third yeah. night at sea, we had a medical emergency, which has delayed us getting into the San Diego port. So we actually, because of that, are, we're given a extra sea day yeah basically to it's an extra luxuriate six hours. and relax and enjoy the amenities of the cruise ship yeah yeah so can't complain about that no nope. hope the person is okay yes um but this was kind of a benefit to the rest of us because we extra time on the ship oh and i want to show you hold on uh oh just because i see it sitting here oh yeah so because they had to add um a full day of cruise activities to the guests on board because of the medical emergency, we were actually given a paper navigator app like they used to do in the olden days. So it just has a list of all the activities today, what um, places are open for dining, what bars are open, what activities are available, what character greet, meet and greets are available. So it was really cool. I, when they said they were giving us a paper itinerary, I thought it was just gonna be an eight by 10 piece of paper <laughs> that had just a list of stuff. This is fancy, this is like fancy printing. Yeah, that's so, how they used to do it before yeah, the uh, app. Yeah, so, well, this video specifically is about our pits and peaks. Now we're gonna have- The pits and the peaks of a Disney cruise, um, a Halloween on the High Seas cruise. Yeah. So we'll have more detailed videos coming up. This is yeah. um, Thursday and I'm gonna publish this on Sunday. Um, then we're going to finish up our Florida videos and then get into our California videos. But the long and short of it is that we figured we'd just come in and give you our pits and peaks of the cruise. So at least whet your appetite for all the other videos that will be coming. Yes. Um, so we really don't have many pits. So let's get the negativity out of the way sure. first yeah. because we really didn't have any. Yeah. Yeah. I think really the only thing I can say is Census Spa and we have touched upon this in another video, but just to say, I think the pricing is a bit um, misleading when you book it on the app and it was double what we had expected to pay in person and then the upsell at the end, they wanted us to buy $300 worth of LMS products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I it didn't affect our cruise in any way. We had budgeted for the spa, hadn't budgeted exactly that much, so that kind of threw us, but it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. We did call to ask, and they did say it was per person, but that's not how the app showed it. Yeah, so it was just, that was a little misleading. The yeah. massage itself was fine. Eh. Definitely not worth the price. No, not so, at all. Yeah. Um, for me, my only real pit, I can say, it's not really a pit, it's just the bathroom. The shower itself is really small. And the bathtub, it's a bathtub shower, at least for our stateroom, and it's raised a little higher. Yeah, so you so have to walk down. If you are down. taller than 5'10", just to be aware of this, if you're taller than 5'10", you're gonna have a problem in the shower because your head is gonna hit the ceiling. Yeah. I don't know how anyone taller than 5'10 can do it. I'm only 5'8", so I have enough room. Uh, but yeah, it just, so that was a little tight, um, the shower pressure was really good. It was and excellent. The Elemis products are excellent. The they shampoo, are. conditioner, uh, body wash, the hand lotion, the hand body lotion, just excellent products. Really nice. Mm -hmm. It blows H2, H2O out of water. And if you do want to purchase Elemis products, they are much cheaper on Amazon. So you can get those products yes, outside can. of the cruise ship. Yes. Outside Elemis of has a whole line right. of um, body, facial, yeah, I'd never heard of it Care. before, so yeah. I, don't, I don't know. But, um, so really, to me, those are the only pits that I can think of. All right, now let's get on to the peaks. There are a lot of peaks and a lot of positives. Okay, let's kind of rapid fire this. Okay. Halloween characters. Yes. Concierge, definitely. Food. Cast members. 
the decks and being able to get ice cream anytime you want. <laughs> um, just the overall look and feel of the ship, being able to sit out on the deck chairs while we're sailing, definitely cool. Alcohol. Uh, oh yes, oh gosh, especially concierge because that's included from five to 10. Man, Mr. McCallan and I became very good friends this week because they had McCallan scotch up there on the top shelf every night, kids. That was concluded with concierge. Cruise activities. There were a ton. There's bingo. There's trivia. There's character meets. There's crafts. There's animation classes. There are movies to see. There are theatrical productions that are better, I think, than some of the Broadway productions that are oh currently out there. The wow. shows were fantastic. So let's just go down to, let's say, our top three. You want to say the top three? <sighs> okay. Because I know my top three. Okay, go ahead. So, okay, first off, I'm going to say overall in general, the cast members. Uh, not just concierge, but all the other cast members that we interacted with, whether they were uh, servers within the mm -hmm. restaurants, the character guides or handlers. handlers. Uh, especially yeah. one in particular, Emma. We talked oh, to her she was so sweet. quite a bit because we tried to meet all the characters and she was taking care of a lot of the characters. Mm -hmm. um, so I say cast members for sure. I, we've always said cast members are the ones that make the Disney magic. Um, and not, they do it on the Disney Cruise Line too. They don't make the magic ship. The ship's already made. <laughs> I mean, they make the magic within Walt Disney World, uh, Disneyland, just Disney in general. But yeah, so the cast members on board this cruise ship Fantastic, just fantastic. Can't say that enough. I agree with that, but an, another one of my top three, so that would be one of mine too, was the Broadway production oh. of Dreams. Holy, wow. Holy God. And you were hesitant about going to see that last night. I said, well, so you know what? I really good. want to see it. I want to go. Um, the first night we saw Tangled, the musical, so that was the Rapunzel. And that was really cute. The set design, the actors, the singing. Super cute. Um, it was really super cute. It pretty um, much follows the Tangled Yeah, it, it's movie. a, yeah. But, um, um, what was the name of the horse? They had a guy dressed up as the horse, which was really super cute. Um, I forgot his name because I've only seen Rapunzel so a couple Flynn times. So Flynn Rider and the horse. I can't remember the horse's name. Anyways, they had a guy dressed up as the horse and the costume was really, really super cute. It was super cute. Um, so as good as Tangled was, last night we did Dreams and oh, man. Oh, Chef's Kiss. So the short version of the story is this girl who's in her bedroom and um, she has all these dreams and hopes and aspirations. She's you know, about Gonna to start, start middle, middle school. school. Um, and so she has adventures throughout the night that involve a lot of different Disney characters. And man, talk about just, so when a that, jerker. a couple rows behind us, when this little girl stood up and started singing, like she was probably four years old and she's standing up singing. I'm not gonna say to who or to what song, but you know, what's pretty much one of the biggest There's things that fall from the, the ceiling. The I, yeah. yeah, it's very, it was, it's amazing. If you had not seen that early show mm -hmm. with me, and I, if I would have gone by myself, I would have said, you're coming with to the later yeah, show. That's so it. Great. I mean, it was, it was worth seeing and seeing mm -hmm. again. Um, so yeah, if you, and that show, we talk about it a little more in that video, but it's on the magic and it's also mm -hmm. on the wonder. So definitely that show was a big, big plus. And my third, um, overall peak was the Disney characters. I loved seeing them. We saw them in their pirate outfits. We saw them in their Halloween outfits. We saw them in their sailor outfits. We saw princesses. Yeah. We saw the Sanderson sisters yeah. from Hocus Pocus. Just so many characters to see all of the time, and the handlers and the photographers are amazing. Yeah, we had a, and it was very organized the way they had it very set up organized. in different parts of the ship. Um, the way the way they had the lines set up, I thought they did a really really good job mm -hmm. of coordinating it and organizing it. So definitely a big big plus for me. Yeah. Um, but the and these aren't in order. Just to say, my third that we haven't mentioned yet is definitely concierge. We'll talk about the cast members and the concierge team concierge definitely involved with the cast members, but having concierge service was great. All of the things, and we'll you can watch those videos to get all the details about what concierge is, because I have a lot of those videos that will go up. 
but definitely concierge I felt was worth the extra money. Absolutely, sure. absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to have videos, just so you know, since this will be the first one of our Disney Cruise Line series going up, we're going to have a stateroom tour. We're going to have a concierge level video. We're going to have our, um, we're going to do a Disney etiquette cruise ship edition. <laughs> we are going to show you characters. We're going to do an overall video. We're going to show you some dining. We're going to do day one, two, three, and four of our Disney cruise. So yeah. you can see exactly what we did or hear about what we did every day. And we'll splice some pictures or videos in. Yeah. Um, this was just amazing. If you are hesitant about booking a Disney cruise line, I would definitely do it yeah. especially a themed one like the halloween on the high seas it was it was cute it was very cute mm -hmm. the way they had it all set up and done and the extra um entertainment that they had yeah like the mickey's masquerade party on the deck was really cute um one video that is going to come up that we're going to put up uh, that you didn't mention is you in the beginning part of the week yeah we're gonna do jenny seasick journey as well yeah, that yeah. will probably come up second that will be the second video yeah we'll try to get that one up sooner than later um overall though it didn't affect uh, you know it didn't i uh, made myself do things right. and yeah um you can do as little as you want on a disney cruise ship or as much as you want on a disney cruise ship you can relax you can partake in the activities just an overall great experience uh, not to pick on census spa, but just to say they're they're just to have a pit. That's what we would have to go with. And I don't believe census spa is owned by Disney. They're just affiliated with Disney. Yeah. So yeah. Well, that it's the way it goes sometimes. Read the fine print, I guess. Yeah. You know. So just be aware of that. Uh, we did not. Uh, we did not go ashore on the day that we, we were not. in Cabo. We stayed on the ship, so we can't say about any of the excursions or anything that uh, you were able to do in Cabo. We stayed on the ship and just yeah. enjoyed it. So um, anyway, so yes. So overall, a definite positive experience. Yes. The pits were few and far between. Can't wait to book um, another one. Yeah, yeah. So. But I would only book if I could do concierge level. Yeah, it's, it's just worth it. After being so pampered and spoiled, I don't think I could just book a disney cruise yeah. it would have to be concierge yeah. like i said just keep, being honest keep an eye out for those videos where we go into greater detail about what concierge has to offer um so anyway all right yes. so don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the next jen and joe on the go action because we're all done with the cruise yeah. it's coming to an end yeah. and we're going to start rolling out san diego cruise line and Disneyland videos because that's coming up next. Yeah, kids. yeah, San Diego and Disneyland. So All we right. still have several days left here in California, we do. so we're going to make the most of it. All right, All thanks right. for watching. Bye. Bye.